Hey, welcome back, peeps, to part 14, Simon the Sorcerer 2, with your host, Pigs Poison. Um, in the last video, we just escaped from Sordid's Castle, and come to the Valley of Doom. And now, we were just about to fiddle with these antiques. So, let's go and fiddle with them. There doesn't appear to be anyone here. Can I help you, mate? Huh? Who said that? Down here! On the counter! Oh no. It's another load of bloody woodworm. Mm -hmm. Is that trouble or something? <laughs> Steady on, Rocky. You hear what he called us? Bloody woodworm, he said. As if we were below him. I'm sure he didn't mean anything by it. He's the one that's gonna be bloody when I finish with him. He'll be spitting at his teeth for a week. <laughs> Okay. Well, since Simon's been a bit of a git for most of the game, we'll, we'll be nice this time. Uh, sorry guys, you um, caught me by surprise. It's people like you that the Woodworm Popular Front really hate. Power to the Woodworm! For too long we have been crushed under the weight of fascist oppression. And under the shoes of fascist oppressors. We want change! And we want it now! Uh-huh. So, the political woodworm then. Right. <sighs> Go on, we'll do it. What changes do you want? Pokesworm? Yes, Rocky? Read him the Woodworm Act! <clears throat> One. The right of the woodworm to be recognised as people. The right of the woodworm to vote in matters of national importance. <laughs> Three. Later. One hundred and eight. The abolition of pest controllers. One hundred and nine. The introduction of woodworm zones in major cities. One hundred and ten. Much later. <laughs> Five hundred and forty-one. The abolition of the word crunch. You can see where this is going, can't you, Pete? Forty-two. <laughs> Shoes to be sold in sets of eight. Much, much later. <laughs> Nine hundred. Yeah, you could tell he was going to fall asleep, couldn't you, Pete? The compulsory teaching of woodworms in schools. Thank you, Mr. Spokesworm. Do you get all that? Oi! A hedgehog is cavorting in my bucket. <laughs> Do you get all that? You've got to admire them. They'd make great politicians. Got any comments to make? Um... That was awfully long, but... <laughs> How are you on. going to achieve these changes? We have submitted a petition. Failing that, though, we may have to take more direct action. Like what? Demonstrating, rallying, possibly even a national strike. Who will that inconvenience? Are you saying that we play no part in national economy? He well... Is. He's saying we're useless. Right. Rocky, remember your osmotic water potential. Teach him a lesson, Rocky. Strike a blow for woodworm everywhere, Rocky. Look. Violence won't solve anything, you know. He's right, Rocky. Give the petition a chance before we start direct action. You're right, you're right. You were lucky, pal. If you say so. Enough of this idle banter. What's going on here? Well, um, uh, it's a cover-up for our extremist equal rights movement. It's not in the least bit belittling or anything. We're just trying to make ends meet before assuming our rightful place in society. What are you doing? Carving ornamental figurines for the turrets. Uh, do you want one? Maybe. All right, then. How much are they? Free if you supply the wood. The stuff around here is just terrible. Mm -hmm. Alright then. 
I'll see what I can do. Oof. Oh, that was a long and painful conversation, peeps. Five minutes by my counter. Oof, dear me. Anyway, let's carry on exploring over here. Interwoven Greek legend. Yep. We are the Great We are famous <laughs> because one of us is short sighted, one is deaf, and one's got no teeth. <laughs> In case you don't know the legend, peeps, the Grey Eye Witches were the witches that Perseus had to fight, well, had to face before going to see the Gorgon. So, let's see. Hmm, that must be a bit of a bummer. It's all part and parcel of witching these days. You've got to have a gimmick, or you'll never get anywhere. <laughs> anyway, why have you visited the lair of the witches of Grey? And if your name's Percy, then you can bugger off right now. <laughs> There haven't been any Gorgons <laughs> around here for years. I wondered when that was going to turn up. There you go, peeps. <sighs> Have you got anything to help me deal with sordid? Sordid? Yes, sordid. Sordid? You can't miss him. He lives in the tower in the volcano. What volcano? Are you blo... <laughs> Forget I asked. You'd better be running along now, boy. The witches are grey. They're too busy for gossiping. Suit yourself. Right. Let's get on with it. We know we need to help them eventually. So, let's get on with it. Keep going. Oh, frighten the cat again. Don't worry, we'll catch him eventually. Mm, still no food for you, mate. Not yet. Keep going, Simon. Don't stop. Right. Now. I want to go to the volcano rim first. Pick up the chemical sprayer. Though somehow I don't think it's going to do any good against that plant over there. Right. We'll have a look at the book. Apparently. Those big plants are called Etus felinus and secrete a soporific saliva. Really? Etus felinus. Hmm. Now, obviously, that suggests the cats. Not nice, but anyway, we need to go to the secluded hut because that's where the cat is. Have I stumbled across an international geek convention or something? <laughs> Who are you? The name's Simon. My friends call me Simon. What do you want? 
I want to know what's going on here. We've come up here for the weekend to play apartments and accountants. Play what? It's an exciting role-playing game set in the world of real estate, accountants, and technology. Wow. Sounds riveting. Do you mind if I watch? No problem. Just try not to disturb us, okay? Whatever. Okay, right. Right. We have to shut this Has door everyone got their behind us. Out? Yeah, chill out, man. Let's Otherwise the cat will escape. There. My guy's called Try Scott to... and he's a fourth level We'll student. pick up the hanky, which My means the cat will start Dave, running. And he's a second level rugby player. Oh! I've got Rupert, the Ouch. Level computer hacker. Anyway. I'm playing Knock and he's a knight we'll level the cat. soldier. Alright, do you all remember what's going on? We've all been captured uh, by fascist we'll police and accused of penguin bottle. smuggling. That's right. Okay, you're all locked up in a cell, awaiting trial. I pick up a straw as well. What are you doing? Right. I think we if should we hold a demonstration. Use the soda and drink it. Because we need an empty soda bottle first. Let's drink right. 12 pints of lager and deck now, some queers. Now, we need another bottle of soda. I put the empty bottles back. I'll use my oh, remote damn. to cyber link. That wasn't meant to happen. Anyway. What good will that do? Drink that one as well. Here we go. No, no, just okay. Right. I'll Open the door. Drop over me and we'll go back to the volcano rim. This is incredibly cruel, but you've got to do it. Use the cat on the plant. <sighs> Can't watch. Even I'm not that cruel. Good. I should think so. Right. The empty bottle on the saliva. There we go. Right. Let's go back to the secluded hut and get some more sodas. And the fascist cops have taken Rupert's remote motor. I think we need three more bottles, I think. <coughs> Who's with me on this demonstration? Um. What are we demonstrating against? To our wrongful imprisonment. Three. Of there we go. But we could throw in some stuff about student hardship while we're at right. it. Right. I've still got my anorak, haven't I? Yes. Come on. Thank God for that. There we go. Right. Go to the goblin camp. Now we want to use the plant dribble in the goblins of these goblins because we want to make sure they won't wake up now, now that I've done that I think I can try and walk past and they'll wake up there we go how many times is we having to tell you be getting lost, or I'll get Henry the Human Eater out here. I'd better be going then. Don't forget to have a drink before you go to sleep. <laughs> nice. Did that taste funny to you? It was. Uh... Whoa, that worked fast. Sure. I wonder how that could have happened. <laughs> right, give us that conch horn behind you. Right, go into the camp. And we are now in the goblin camp. And we shall explore this camp properly in the next video. So, see you there, peeps.